The U.S. is now closing in on half a million coronavirus cases, and the death toll is more than 16,000. New York remains the epicenter with about 800 deaths reported just yesterday. That is the most ever for a third straight day. But there is evidence that social distancing measures are helping to flatten the curve there. CBS 4's Michael George has the latest from New York. The death toll from coronavirus complications is so high in New York City, crews on Hart Island near the Bronx are burying unclaimed bodies that have been at the morgue for more than two weeks. But there are encouraging signs. The state's hospitalizations and ICU admissions are both down. Still, Governor Cuomo says New York is not out of the woods yet. The moment you stop following the policies, you will go right back and see that, that number shoot through the roof. This temporary military hospital at New York's Javits Center has only a fraction of the patients it can hold, in part because hospitalizations have gone down. But the virus continues to surge in places in the Midwest. Sandy Brown of Flint, Michigan, lost both her husband and son to the virus. They're two of four parishioners to die this month from the same church. I get speechless, you know, I get a little emotional uh, because of the effects that is happening. Uh, in, in America. The White House says Philadelphia could be a new hotspot. The city has more than 5,000 infections, with data showing African Americans are more at risk. You look at all of the structural issues around um, all of these health care inequalities, all of these lower income jobs, uh, it tends to impact individuals uh, in neighborhoods of color uh, a lot more than it does in other neighborhoods. Community members are working hard to get the word out to neighbors to follow the guidelines. Michael George, CBS News, New York.